I got time to do this? Hi. 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 How are you feeling, Mr. Good time. Late night? Late night? Good night. Did you have a good time? Did you? Yep. Yep. Did you try to sing? Did you say? I didn't know the words. Were you surprised by how eagerly they joined in the singing? Well, all, the whole party joined in the singing. It evidently is a, a very well known Russian song. I, I thought Van Cliburn was just great. First time in nine years that he's played. I mean, really, it's. What did you and she talk something. about last night? Did you have a chance to. Um... Last, well, see, she was with my husband. Well, did you ask your husband what they talked about? Mr. Gorbachev. Um, well, we talked about, let me see. We talked about uh, our coming to uh, Moscow. When? Well, did you set a date? <laughs> no, I, I really leave that to other people. Is it definitely you will be going? I don't know. <laughs> did, he have a, did he have an itinerary for you when you arrived there? What, tell you what you should see? No, he, well, he thought I should saw, see so Thought I should see uh, the Kremlin. I said I'd like to see Leningrad and uh, Lemaitage. Um, then we told that story, I told you. Then <laughs> um, we got into a lot of discussions with um, uh, Dick Cheney and Richard Pearl. Uh, it was a very did he seem to be having lively a good conversation. Did he seem to be having a good time? Did he laugh a lot? Did he? Yeah, no, no, no. he did. No, he's, he's very easy. Do they seem a little jet lagged or uh, having any trouble? Uh, not at all. Schedule? No, no, not at all. Maybe they are, but they don't didn't seem it. Now that you've had a chance to see Mrs. Gorbachev a little more, what did you do? Had a chance to talk to her a little bit more than you've had in the past? Yeah, you know, the only time I've had to see her really is um, uh, the coffee that you have after the state arrival that you do with every. Uh, every visitor and then there are a lot of people there and when you're going through translators it's it, it makes it um, difficult. Mrs. Reagan can you share with us some of the things that you spoke with Mrs. Gorbachev about? At the coffee? Yes. Um, that makes it seem so long ago now. <laughs> uh, we talked about uh, she was talking about the uh, Soviet Union. Um, and, uh, Did she ask you any questions people? about America? No. What do you plan to talk about today? What do you think we might be talking about today? I will see. <laughs> Mrs. Reagan, there's been much made of a competition between you two on clothes, That's on so silly. all sort of areas. So, so silly. So silly. I mean, th this is a, uh, a somewhat of pretty substantive issues, you know. And that's that's what uh, I felt the same way to me. But that's did she not what I said. What, Did you and she talk about that being silly, or did she say no, no? But I assume she feels that way. This is where you mentioned at the sign. You suggested to her you shake hands, and both of you did. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us what prompted you to make the Suggestion that you shake hands? Well, our husbands had shaken hands, and so I thought we should shake hands. Mrs. Reagan, excuse me, I'm sorry for yes. seeing you yesterday dancing with your president. Uh, is it, uh, did the Gorbachev have to join you dancing? No, they, they had gone home. Thank you. Well, Mrs. Reagan, I, yes. is there any ill feeling between you and Mrs. Gorbachev? It seems to be so much later. But well, you all are, no, I'm not making any help with this. Okay, I'm just basing it on Larry Speaks' book. Well, I didn't, I didn't read it that way, and Larry Speaks is not me. <laughs> is there anything in particular that you'd like to show her here at the White House? Anything that means... Oh, well, everything that we're going to say. Any particular piece of art or room that means something to you that you'd like to show with her? Um, well, there's a mantelpiece. Uh, in the uh, state dining room, that I think is, which has a little description on it that I think is nice. 
What's the inscription? I'm not going to tell you. You have to wait for me to find out. Mrs. Frank, one last question. Um, it looks like Mrs. Gorbachev is actually speaking English. Has, have you noticed that she's actually learned English since you last met her? Have you been able to talk to her in English at all? No. Uh, she tells your impressions of Mrs. Gorbachev. She's very, very nice, very bright, intelligent. I think I better go and meet her, <laughs> or else she's not going to be <laughs> very thrilled. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Intelligent. Quite subtle sometimes. It's not quite It must be tough. Good morning. <laughs> I would say that this is a typical picture of the 20th century. Right. <laughs> right. 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 It is a whole generation of yeah. right. yes. yes. right. yes. 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 right. yes. uh, is a very interesting painter. Oh, yes. very and the whole generation actually is quite impressive. Yeah. And Andrew White's exhibition was held in Moscow, as I said. Yes, I know. Yes, I have yeah, better. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, let's take it very...
for me is meeting Americans. This time our visit is too short. I hope next time it will be longer. Especially study the history of the United States. <laughs> 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 
Thank you.